Right now, a new day in Israel after a night of celebrating the country's 75th anniversary. Glenna Milberg joins us live right now from Israel. She is right outside Tel Aviv. Glenna, tell us about the trip so far. Well, we did not sleep late. Let me just tell you that much. It's one in the afternoon, a mind meld working on two time zones. Uh, last night, Israel time, huge celebrations. This is Independence Day. It's a daytime is much quieter. It's kind of family time for everybody. You see a lot of the streets are not nearly as busy, but make no mistake, this is a very big deal. Not only Israel's birthday, but a milestone birthday, 75. And when you think about how that happened against all odds, and you know hundreds of people from South Florida are here to part, be part of it. This time, the protesting crowd seemed a bit happier. The collective national celebration begins. Israel's independence as its own state, now marking 75. The day of joy after the day of mourning. The Jewish state marks the sacrifice as part of the celebration. Okay military presence in which every Israeli is involved as a cultural norm. <laughs> Ceremonies that unite a country currently divided politically. <laughs> An open, accepting population concerned about plans to give lawmakers more power over the courts. <laughs> National pride is a family affair, and this family's borders go beyond Israel. We are a part of the larger Jewish world community, just like in South Florida. South Florida is a big presence for this week's festivities. Supportive about uh, money, about situation, about uh, spirituality. Those celebrating know those visitors see a different Israel than what headlines may suggest. You walk here, it's not dangerous. You know, you, you, you hear, but what you see in TV, it's a different thing. You know, Israelis are very mindful about that kind of misinformation and a kind of preconception or misconception. And in fact, there are people from South Florida who had planned to be here and saw some headlines and got concerned and did cancel. So that's a very big topic that a lot of people talk about here, not only about the United States or Florida, but people worldwide. Uh, there is, at this time, as you know, J.C. Eric, it's a very divided time politically for Israelis facing a couple of questions and debates. But today, above all else, this is uh, these are people that are very patriotic, very passionate about being unified uh, from the inside to the outside. And that is what Israel at 75 is kind of all about. We talked about some of those divisions and the misinformation. It's such an important day to celebrate, to build community in the face of what has been really historic anti-Semitism. So educating everybody about Israel's story, that's a really important part of fighting that, isn't it, Glenna? It really is. And you know, um, in, we in the news business are very aware of how, especially social media, that has information, disinformation, propaganda, and it's very difficult for people scrolling through or listening to determine what's real or what's not even in photographs. Um, so that is, a, that is a huge issue for this state with so many enemies around the world and to your point, so much anti-Semitism uh, on the rise right now. I, I think that their point is, come, you'll see, this is not what you think. Israel's a very diverse place and there is, there is really no homogeneity here. Um, it is a Jewish state the only one in the world, but there are far more uh, of the population that is not Jewish also here, and it's a very democratic state. So there's a lot of similarities that you can find here with the United States, uh, of course, a lot of differences too, but it is that awareness, that perception uh, that so many people on so many levels are dealing with, Israel is really at the top of that list. All right, Glenna, before we say goodbye, I know you have a busy day. Anything that we should look forward to seeing later on here on Local 10? A lot, and uh, they'll probably start to wrap me before I get through that list, but I will <laughs> tell you, we have been all over the place focusing on really the connections that Israel has specifically with South Florida. So many people are here for this milestone birthday, but we have been documenting a lot of 
cross uh, crossover businesses, a lot of culture, a lot of stories that really connect South Florida and Israel. We're actually going to put together a really nice primetime special about that. Uh, but tomorrow, Governor Ron DeSantis is actually flying in tonight. Tomorrow, he'll be at a museum in Jerusalem as part of a big event. He'll be making a speech. We hope to catch up with the governor tomorrow. Uh, we were with the governor on his first trip abroad when he was elected uh, four years ago. So he is actually a very big supporter of Israel authentically. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll have that for you tomorrow. We may sleep a little bit in between, but who knows? <laughs> uh, if you're lucky. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Sleep's overrated. <laughs> All right, Glenna, we appreciate your time this afternoon in Israel, this morning for us here in South Florida. Thank you so much for your reporting.